We are here at Shepherd of the Hills. Uh, behind me is their new Shepherd's Mill restaurant, but we're here for a day of discovery with the Adventure Park and the spooktacular fall fun. So let's see what there is. This is Amy with TPF Trips, Places and Fun, where we show you how to have fun and exciting family-friendly adventures. We are here at Shepherd of the Hills, and you may remember the outdoor production that made Shepherd of the Hills famous. So it's a really fun play where they set a house or a barn on fire. You get to see horses. It's pretty awesome. Bald knobbers. That's this is true. Harold, Harold Bell Wright's famous novel. So it is a famous classic of the Ozarks. So definitely check that out. Although it is going to end for the season at the end of this month. But definitely if you're here for next season, see what that's all about. But Shepherd of the Hills has undergone an amazing transformation here in the last several years. There's now an adventure park here. So there's zip lines and ropes courses and a rock climbing wall and fun things like that. Today, or for the fall season, they're hosting the Fall Fun Spooktacular, where they have a maze made of hay bales and they have pumpkin painting and they have a play area for the kids. So lots of fun stuff to do with that. We have the Toby Show here now, right, John? I love the Toby this Show. This was one of John's favorites. Yeah, for way, way, way back in the day, it was out on uh, 76 in Branson, and it's just this amazing, old school, campy, super fun uh, drama in a very small theater. So they brought it back here to Shepherd. So you Hills. haven't seen it since it's the no, new ones come, but you yet. have fond memories of the old one. Absolutely. And they have the new mill restaurant. Shepherd's so mill. The Shepherd's Mill restaurant. And we've heard that biscuits and gravy are getting all the raves, right? Yeah. And so definitely come eat here if you get the chance. And then Christmas, of course. You've got a lights drive through. You've got some Christmas fun stuff to do. So there's come and check it out during the holidays. But today, follow along and see what we can do here. Yeah, we're going to go do lots of stuff. You want to watch and see this. Oh, cornhole, Amy. <laughs> I want to be a famous cornhole That's player. John's favorite. He loves cornhole. Jet and Ella are very brave, and they are going to ride the Vigilante Zipliner, which takes them from the top of Inspiration Tower all the way down. And Inspiration Tower is a landmark that you can see from all over Branson. If you take the elevator to the top, it'll give you a great view of the entire city and Table Rock Lake. It is awesome. So definitely check that out, even if you're not brave enough to ride the zipline. See, the Vigilante Zipliner uh, takes them far, far away. I think like maybe what two thirds of a mile. Yeah, we don't know. We, yeah, we don't know how they're going to get back, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. <laughs> It's not just the harness like we've done before, but they're in a seat. So that seems a little bit more secure. Not as scary. It is a long ways though. I feel like I might be able to do it because it's in a seat instead of just hang dangling in a harness. When you're just dangling in a harness, you feel like you feel like yeah, you feel like you're gonna fall. But when you're in a seat like that, it feels more like a ride. That was amazing. You enjoy that, guys? Yeah. All right, buddy. I'm gonna pull your chair down and you hop on out. Okay, on three. One, two, and three. Oh my. Almost. You got it. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, so we just went on the zip line. It was very, very fun. When we went down, it was about 50 miles per hour and about 30 seconds long. Rating 1 through 10, I'll, I'll give it about a 9. The only thing that took off a point is my ears are like ringing because of the noise. I, I know that's probably with every single zip line. I just don't like the noise. So yeah, that's how we like the zip line. That 
was amazing. Not as scary as I thought it was going to be because it looked like they were sitting in seats instead of just dangling from a harness. John and I have done this before when we were dangling from the harness and it was pretty intimidating, but I feel like I could do it the way that they did it. So I think the kids had fun. I didn't see them looking terrified. They didn't seem to chicken out. So did Eva or, or Ella have her arms? Ella had her arms out like this as she was going. So I think they loved it, but we'll have to find out when they had tram brings them back. So. We're far, far away right now. We could heck we could leave and go shopping for a while. <laughs> I think we could. We're the visual team! <laughs> <laughs> We are in the elevator going down from the Inspiration Tower and look at this view! Table Rock Lake is back there, it's so pretty. And you can see all the Ozark Mountains, well hills. What? I used to live in Colorado so they call these Ozark Mountains, but they're not really mountains. Next we're going to tackle the ropes course, which is right behind John, right in front of me. And while we're up there I'll have a beautiful view of the Ozarks. And over here is a rock climbing wall, so I'm guessing the kids will want to do that. I probably won't try that, but I will do the ropes course. I have conquered my fear of heights. For ropes courses, I learned to love these at Wonderworks. ropes course and of course ropes courses are fun in general but this one is really special because you have that gorgeous view while you while you are up there there is one obstacle that's a little bit crazy and it's the spinning um, what is that pipe and so you're, not, you're oh, a zip line. oh yeah and there's two zip lines on this one but yeah you're trying to walk across the spinning pipe and it's going like this but it was awesome definitely enjoyed it it's twelve dollars per person for half an hour so What's next? All right, we're going to go head this way and check out all the rest of the fun. the kids are playing in the corn pit. You've heard of a ball pit. This is very similar only with kernels of corn. They love it. They could stay here all day, but we'd only have maybe an hour and a half to also check out the play barn and the obstacle course and the petting zoo and the bounce houses and the pumpkin painting. So we're going to have to try to fit all that in. And on Fridays and Saturdays, they also have a hayride and paintball. oh yeah, paintball. <laughs> So there's this giant slide in here that the kids want to go on, but the rumor is there's a little corn maze up there, so I don't know. I'm headed up there to check it out. Oh, yeah. I can see over though, so it's not that challenging. It might be more challenging for Eva <laughs> if you can't see where she's going. The kids just got done doing the obstacle course. Tree houses are over here. We can see the petting zoo. We're not exactly sure how to get in there yet, but we're gonna check that out. We did find out that these orange bands that we have are- Thanks, thanks to our wonderful host, okay, Shepherd of the Hills. Yes, so these include, let's see if I can remember it, all the fun fall stuff. 
um, entrance to this area with all the kids stuff. Um, the bounce houses, the pumpkin painting, things like that. Also the ropes course that we did earlier, the rock climbing wall. Uh-oh, uh-oh, sadness. We have sadness. Did you get hurt? Let's see, what happened? I'm gonna go on these bridges and see where it leads me. Nice house. Let's go through the next one. That's what's in the houses. That's where the bridges lead you. And, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go on the optical course again and see if I can beat my time. Okay, you ready, set, go. That guy's hilarious with his mohawk. Go down the slide, dude. Oh, look at that one like Zella. And it's like, yeah, scratch my back, yeah. That's so cute, Eva. I want my pumpkin to be not scary. Eva's pumpkin. <laughs> Our girls are very different. <laughs> so we just did the pumpkin painting. This is Eva's fun pumpkin. And that's Ella's pumpkin. So, and over here they have the scarecrow factor where you can make a scarecrow. I just thought I would let you know the pricing here and for 20 bucks you can get an orange band that looks like this. This will get you into the spooktacular which is the play area, the obstacle course, the corn pit, all that kind of stuff, the petting zoo and all that. It also gets you into the ropes course, it gets you into the climbing wall, and it, gets, it lets you do the pumpkin painting. Although you do have to pay extra for your pumpkin like we talked about. It's $3 for a small, $5 for a medium, and $8 for a large. I think that's right behind me. Yeah, so you pick out your pumpkin and then there's someone here who helps you paint them. It's really fun. Anyway, so that's for this orange band. If you come on Friday and Saturday nights, you can get a purple band. And for $30, you can add in that paintball and the hayride. If you come to Shepherd of the Hills, don't forget to check out everything else they have to offer, like the mercantile and the sweet shop and all the fun little shops and stores that they have here. We hope you enjoyed following along with us today. Remember to check out Shepherd of the Hills during the Christmas season because that's a lot of fun. And safe travels, everyone. Safe travels. Safe travels, everyone. I'm going to learn how to do that. I'm going to take over your job. Okay. Safe travels, everyone. It's not that hard. <laughs> safe travels, everyone. You got to say it cuter and peppier. Safe travels, everyone. Safe travels, everyone. Travels, everyone. Now you sound like Minnie Mouse.